Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 3 and we are possibly going to take Golem out. There's a good chance Spiral's going to do more than enough damage to kill him. So let's see if the general can get her rev Oh, he blocked. Oh. Well, he's a dick, but you know, it happens. Um Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to heal everyone up. I probably could have used Zephyrus to take him out, but she's already level 2. So I want to I want to let someone else you know, do something, so. But, you know, we're doing alright. And experience a thousand, they become partners, yay! And Cyclops can just hang out there. I cannot do anything with Julian, so you're just gonna kinda hang back. Alright, Leon! Will you do the honors? Yeah, you're, he's dead. So, Gollum finally taken down. Dropped a power wine. Leon receives the power wine. And the enemies dissipate. Alright. Why did you feel the need to come down and try to beat the crap out of us? Well, well done, Julian Force. As you promised, Gallum, please tell us how to reach Bullsome Temple on the cliff. I will tell you, as I promised. Have you discovered the secret of Jumsi? Yeah, we know it's Julian, Median, and Symbios. That's correct, Julian. Jumsi is the compri is comprised of you, Prince Median, and Lord Symbios. Could it be the key to Bolsom Temple is held by Jumsi? Yes. The two shrines at the left and right of Bolsom Temple hold the keys. What is the significance of Jumsi? Must three armies attack simultaneously? The two forces which do not contain the innovator attack from the left and right to open the passage to Bullsome Temple after taking the shrines. That's why three powerful forces are needed. Then the force containing the innovator makes a surprise attack against Bullsome Temple. Wait, what if we don't separate the armies and just attack one area at a time? The passage to Bullsome Temple doesn't stay open long. If you don't enter immediately, it will close. After that, we can defeat Bullsome and seal him. That's not enough. We won't... We alone won't be enough to seal him. Is that what you mean, Golm? But is, is it enough to open the passage and defeat Bullsome? Even if you take away his strength, you can't eliminate his existence. Then what should we do? I found the staff of <laughs> I can just see I'm just imagining honesty off to the side like searching like where is it? Where is it? And then just like in the middle of this really important conversation, she's yelling out that she found it. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. Oh, son of a bitch, Gom took that opportunity to run away. I have kept my word. But only like this, it's... Your existence, Gracia. By that time, it's time for you to shine. Shine? But what should I do, Calm? Alright. Honestly, he's like, sorry for distracting you and letting him get away, but... What is it, everyone? Where's Gollum? Ah, oh, he ran away. <laughs> he left without telling us the most important part. If we're not able to seal Bolzom, all of this will have been for nothing. No, we will definitely be able to seal Bolzom. Really, King Benetrim? It's a great achievement for us to have defeated Gollum. This means we have the power to confront a Vandal. As for what he said about Gracia, we take away Bolzom's strength first, and then Gracia can use his power. I think that's what he meant. The ancient road is around the corner. Let's hurry, Julian. Yeah, we were able- we fought a, a Vandal, 
but he's pulling his punches. We know he's pulling his punches. The Julian army learned much in Maya. Gracie obtained innovator powers from the Oracle at Ark Hill. Julian army battled Gelm and learned how to reach Bull's home temple. Now they hurry to join the Symbios army. End of chapter 5, The Creator's Legacy. Every time we get the, the chapter in, chapter begin, like, I get goosebumps. I really do. Will you record your adventure so far? Yes. Overwrite? No, we will overwrite another one, because that's how I how I go about things. But yeah, every time I get I get a little like goosebumps, because like we're getting that much closer. And chapter six, the capital of the far north. I'm so excited! The final chapter of Scenario 3. We've reached it. We found the ancient road at last. How far are we behind the Symbios army? I bet they are way ahead of us. The Symbios army is nowhere to be seen, and they must be pretty far ahead. Well, we did get kind of distracted fighting a Vandal. We must hurry to catch up to the Symbios army. Hold on, you two. First of all, we have to rest and get supplies. We should also gather any information we can about the Symbios army. Let's find out about the, how far our Symbios is ahead of us before we continue. I see a village ahead. Yep, a village. Oh my god, so many items in that village, too. Right, King Benetrim, we are all tired after this trip through the snow. And we have Marky. I don't know if have, have we seen... I don't think we've, I've actually gotten a chance to see Marky, because we went straight from one battle to another. Um, could you please go ahead to the village and ask around for the Symbios army? Alright, so Don Hort's going to go ahead and go. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't think I've actually made it to... Um, a chance to see Marky, so I don't think we've actually seen Marky's portrait yet, so I'm going to do that. So we've got stuff to do in this next town. Uh, and there is a... Uh, there is a blacksmith. So if you have not, you know, made... Myth, uh, mithril or or calcum weapons. More likely, if you haven't made or calcum weapons for the people you want to make or calcum weapons for, you have the chance. Uh, leaving Dormant Village, we will reach the capital soon. Rimatus, that's right. That's where the Bull's Home Temple is located. Those awful rainbloods and mass monks have been rather quiet recently. I'm sure they have some more surprises for us. Yes, as we proceed, they will likely try to stop us. You have no idea. If they have something planned, I bet they will spring it at the volcanic mountain up ahead. We can't let our guard down until we reach Rimotest. Volcanic mountain. Volcano of Dormant. Primula, do you know of the volcanic mountain? There's never been an active volcano in the Dormant mountain range, but looking up ahead, the mountain does appear to be active. The mountains of Dormant may not have been active previously, but they appear to be active now. We should be very careful. Another volcano scene! Yay! What happened to Donhort? Yes, what happened? He left quite some time ago. There he is! Donhort, you took your time. What happened, Donhort? Did you find out anything about the Symbios army? No. Donhort's not speaking. You didn't find any information about the Symbios in this village? He's not... He's not talking at all. That's a little... There we go. Not only was there no information, it appears that the Symbios Army hasn't reached this village yet. I can't believe the Symbios Army has not passed through this village yet. As far as I've heard, that's the case. We are said to be the first to arrive. If that's so, what happened to the Symbios Army? Must have been the Rainbloods. They probably did something to delay the Symbios Army. That's the only thing I can think of. What should we do, Julian? Should we go back to the ancient road and look for the Symbios army? We probably should. It's a shame to waste all the time we've gained by going back, but the Symbios army will be needed for the battle against Bolzone. If that's our decision, we must hurry, Julian. As soon as our preparations are done, we must leave the village, Julian. Yes. Alright, so... 
I'm, I'm leaving the headquarters. I don't want to leave the headquarters. I got to go back into the headquarters. All right, so we're going to go back into headquarters. Let's look at Marky. And I'm going to need to make a note that this is... This is probably the first time we've seen Marky, but we, I may have managed to see her beforehand, but I doubt. So let's look at Marky. Level 21, so she needs to be promoted for one. She is a witch! Burn her at the stake! No, uh, level 21, HP of 49, MP of 57, attack of 63, defense of 42, agility of 32, luck of 6, movement of 5. Her support effect is magic, so that's good. And magic she's got. She's got freeze 4, soul steal 2, prosperpina, or proserpina, I can never pronounce that accurately, and sleep thanks to the sleep wand. Uh, she's got 10 fire resistance, 25 ice resistance, which being ice-based, kind of expected, 15 spark, 20 wind, 15 light, and 20 dark. And then again, she's got the sleepy rod, which is not bad. Uh, double palm, stun palm, panic palm, and meta dream, and re regions 2 MP a turn, but we can get a better wand for her. Um, she is using, or she's using a rod. So, um, I think that might be the best, because the Eternal Wand is the best thing that we've got, and that increases, uh, that causes MP regen as well. So I might be stuck with the Sleepy Rod if I want MP to regen, unless I want to cut down her attack rate by switching weapons. So, we'll find out about that, and I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to use her at the moment, but I kind of want to show off uh, Proserpina um, as well. But let's look for the items. There are a lot of items here. I'm going to find the... Uh, and find the hidden items, and I'll get the haggles and deals off screen and show off what those are. Let's see. Uh, small mithril item, or barrel behind the item shop. So let's find the item shop. Uh... Not that one. So that's not the item shop, it seems. That is a shop of some sort. That's not. That's a church. That's one of those, then, I guess? Small mithril. All right, so we got that. Uh, treasure chest behind the inn. Inspect... All right, so I need to find the inn. Because there is a treasure chest in it. Um, I don't know which one of these is the inn. Um, oh, there it is. So now I know. Okay, so it's definitely in here. So let's go find this. This might be a slightly long episode because there are a lot of treasures. Holy crap, there's a lot of treasures. Um, so we need to inspect suspicious looking bookshelf in one of the rooms. So I'm guessing this one, because that looks rather suspicious. And it does take us outside. And we get that, and we get the Dragon Man Claw, which is the best weapon for Cyclops. Like, just hands down, best weapon for Cyclops. And we'll switch that. And equip that. Next up, a uh, barrel underneath the clothesline. So I've got to find the clothesline outside. And... We're just going to... I'm just going to go down the list as we proceed. Uh, so let's find a clothesline. Um, uh, not there. I think I recall passing it, but... Uh, there's a hot spring over there, too, that has some unique dialogue. But I don't see a clothesline. At all. What? Unless it's back... Behind one of the houses? No? Oh, clothesline. Haha. -ha. Barrel underneath the clothesline. So, 
We find that, and it's a goddess tier. Uh, box opposite the well. And I don't actually... Oh, okay. Box opposite the well. And Orcalcum. Uh, and we need to go barrel behind the counter at the bar. So back to the bar. Um, as I'm trying to f figure out the best way to navigate any of this. Alright, so there is barrel behind the counter at the bar. Which I wish I'd known because I would have just... There we go. Another piece of Oracalcum, and there's a third Oracalcum that we're going to find. Box in house next to the inn. So that's this house, I assume? Find the box. There's a couple of boxes. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reorient the camera angle so it's easier to move. There we go. All right. Not one of those boxes, but there's a lot of boxes in here. There we go. Or a calcum. And then one of these supposedly has 1,500 gold. Not that I need money. Um, northwest corner of the table and the house leading to the hot spring. All right, so this house leads to the hot spring. We want to... Search a table. One of these corners. There we go. Lucky cookie. Not that I'm focusing on luck anymore, because I don't care. I have enough anti antidote users that it really doesn't bother me. Uh, item shop. Um, are you the item shop? I think you are the item shop. There is a barrel that I need to inspect. There's three of them, so second one's the charm. We get the barrel. And house next to the church. So I'm betting this one. So this is actually fairly well written out. Makes a little bit more sense. So let's find a barrel. It's got the item in it that we're looking for. Is it you? It's you. Another potion. And we need to find the smithy. And... Where is the smithy? There it was. Let's... Item shop blacksmith. Find the blacksmith. This is the blacksmith's house. Because I have that, that ability to, you know, scan and search. That, that sort of thing. Alright, so treasure chest. We're just going to walk around behind here. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing your stuff. And Dormant Runes map that we need for the next area. And then the last item is house next to the smithy. So I'm betting this one. I'm betting that's what, what it is. And looking for a barrel. And another goddess tier. There we go. That's all of the hidden items. All right, since I do have a, a couple of minutes, I'll go ahead and say what all of the deals and haggles are. So, uh, deals. There are two deals in the weapon shop. There is the jewel, jewel glove or jewelry glove, depending on the translation, and the zero wing. Not I, any weapon I'm using on anyone, because um, I could use wings on honesty, but I'm just not. And I don't have anyone actually using gloves, because we only have one monk-type character, and that's Cyclops, and his best weapon is the Dragon Man Claw. Which, um... Let me find the main guide with the weapons, and I will point out what the difference is between those, because it's kind of worth noting. Alright, so we had the Mithril Claw, which had a property of Holy. Uh, I had counter plus 5, critical plus 10, it was A rank attack, and B rank magic, not that the magic matters, but also had 17 attack. The Dragon Man Claw has a property of magic, so we are kind of switching that up a little bit. Higher attack, uh, it's got a 25 power uh, attack. It's A rank in attack, 
nothing in magic. Not that it matters, because we're not... Cyclops has no magic. Counter plus 5, critical plus 10, plus a special attack of Change Dragon. So... Yeah, that's actually kind of worth having because we're not giving up a property for it. We're getting something extra. That's kind of what I feel we should do for that rather than, you know, giving up 10 critical for fire resist for the Orichalcum Claw. Like, that's it's kind of disappointing. Um, so, yeah, we've got... There are those two weapons as deals and then there's a Justice Sword as a Haggle. So, not anything we need to deal with there. At the item shop, there is Orichalcum as deals... And then for Haggles, there's two Orichalcums and a Shadow Bowl, which is a ninja accessory that I cannot equip because I have the uh, Chaos Ring on Jubei. But if I didn't have the Chaos Ring, Shadow Bowl, I believe... Let me find the accessory list. What does the Shadow Bowl do? Uh, da 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 Shadow Bowl, uh, it's just defense plus three. Okay, so that's not even the special one. There's one that is defense and critical. So that's not even the one that we would want. So, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and save and end this episode here. And I will see you all in the next installment where we will uh, go see if we can find Symbios. Because don't know where he's gotten himself off to. But we're going to have to have to go take care of that. So, yeah. See you all in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.